Amen. Let's give the Lord a big amen. One more time, let's give the Lord a big amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are to rejoice in it and be glad. Thank God for life, health, and strength. Thank God for giving us another chance that we're able to come into his house. Thank God that none of our, our names are in anybody's obituary column. Thank God that none of our bodies are in anybody's cemetery, but God has given us another chance. First Baptist, aren't y'all grateful that God has given us another, another chance? To God be the glory for the great things that he has done for the great things that he is doing right now and for the great things that he is yet to do in our lives. Um, I am so honored, I am so humbled um, by the opportunity to come back to First Baptist by popular demand on the second time. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, thank you First Baptist uh, for receiving me. And not only do I thank you for receiving me, but um, I thank y'all for receiving the greatest church on this this side of heaven, the Chester Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. 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 We, we've been together for 19 years. Um, so um, shame on the fraud that won't pay his own pawn. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank Pastor Scott. Um, thank you, um, um, Brother Steve, uh, for being so hospitable. Thank you, praise team. Um, thank you, um, all of you, our father's children. What we're going to do today is we're going to get straight to God's word. How about that? We're going to get straight to God's word. I call your attention to Acts of the Apostles. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number nine today. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number nine today. The focus, the focus of our message today is going to be on verses number 32 through verses number 35. The focus of our message today is going to be on the, um, verses number 32 through verses number 35. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 9. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 9 today. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 9, verse 32 through verse number 35 is our focus. Today, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I want to preach about shortly and briefly, Jesus Christ can still make the difference. Jesus Christ can still make the difference. Andre Crouch is dead and gone, but his words still remain true. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. In the Acts of the Apostles chapter number two, the reason why you see 3,000 souls that were baptized as well as believed is because of one simple reason. Jesus made the difference. The reason why in Acts of the Apostles chapter number three, you can see a man who had been laying from his mother's womb at the gate called beautiful. But when it is all over, the Bible says that he is walking. He is leaping and he's praising God all because of one reason, 
Jesus made the difference. The reason why in Acts of the Apostles chapter number eight, the man soul that you see in chapter number eight is not the soul that you see in chapter number nine is all because of one simple reason. Jesus made the difference. And First Baptist, I want you to know, First Baptist, I want you to know, Bold and Green and friends, I want you to know that if Jesus could make the difference in the lives of 3,000, if Jesus could make the difference in the life of a man who had been sick um, from his mother's womb, at, sitting at the gate of, the, of Beautiful, if Jesus could make a difference in Saul's life, I want you to understand that Jesus can stay still make the difference in the life of the person that you are sitting next to. Jesus can still make the difference in the life of the person that is sitting behind you. Jesus can still make the difference in the life of the person that's sitting next to you. In fact, Jesus can make the difference in the life of the person that you don't even like. <laughs> Jesus can still make the difference. But guess what? You have got to give him a chance. I have got to give him a chance. And I want to tell you today, I want to tell you that the very moment that I gave Jesus a chance, Jesus made a difference in my life. The hymn writer says it best, what a wonderful change in my life has been wrought. Not since Obama, not since Trump, but since Jesus came into my heart. And I want to say to you today, I want to say to you today that if you haven't given Jesus a chance, Jesus still is available. Um, Jesus is still accessible. That yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. And guess what? He wants to make a difference in your life. Let, let me just tell you what he says um, in the gospel. Whosoever will, let, let him, let, it, it's an open, it's an open invitation. The, the Jesus that I know is not a Jesus of discrimi discrimination. Ooh. He, 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 doesn't, he doesn't care if you're tall. He doesn't care if you're short. He don't care um, if you are a one liter, two liter, three liter, four liter. He, 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 he didn't care. He didn't care about your, shy, your size. And he doesn't care about your shape. All he wants to do is make a difference in your life. In the text, in the text, in the text, um, verse number 33, the first thing, the first thing that I want to lift up in verse number 33, um, the first thing that the Lord would have me lift up through the light of God's word is the first thing you're going to see is the person that needed to be made whole. The, the person, the person that needed to be made whole, the person that needed to be made whole. In, in, in verse number 33, you will see a man that has been, um, watch this, paralyzed for eight years he, he's been he's been he's been paralyzed for eight years no, notice he's so paralyzed that watch this he cannot do anything for himself and not only can he not do anything for himself but nobody else can i, I don't try to miss that this man is paralyzed, meaning that he does not have the ability, he does not have the apparatuses of his limbs, his, 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 his arms, his body. He, he has to wait for others to do it for him. 
But 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 there there's a rainbow word. There, there is something that we need to see um, in terms of our spiritual life, in terms of our physical life, in terms of our mental life, and in terms of our emotional life. I want you to understand that as long as a person does not have Jesus in their life, they are going to be just like this man in verse number 33. They are going to be paralyzed and there's some things they can't do for themselves. And one of the things that you can't do for yourself and one of the things that I can't do for myself is I can't save myself. I don't care how many Bibles you may read. I don't care how much you may come to First Baptist. I don't care how much you may come to Sunday school. But you need to know that as good as you are or as good as you think you are, you cannot save yourself. But thank God today that Jesus can do more for you than you can do for your own self. Jesus, 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 Jesus can do um, more for you than you can do for yourself. Here it is. This man has been sick. He's been paralyzed, palsy for eight years. But but there's something else that this text shows us. To tell you the truth, really, guess what? Everybody in First Baptist is really this man. Everybody that's a member of Chester Grove really is this man. What, what, how, how is it that you and I have something in common with this man? Look at this man. There is something wrong with this man, but guess what? There is something wrong with you. Oh, y'all, y'all weren't ready for that. <laughs> There's something wrong with this man. And there's something wrong with you. But guess what? The reason we know that Jesus can make a difference in our lives is because no matter what is wrong, he is the only one. Can somebody say he is the only one? Y'all come on, help me preach today. Can somebody say he is the only one that can make it right? Whatever is wrong with you. He is the only one. He's the only one that can make it that can make it right. But watch this. Um, one of the reasons I, I love God's word is because God's word kind of gives us a idea it kind of gives us an indication. It kind of gives us an insight that everything is going to be all right. Listen, he is sick for eight years. I want you to understand now, he could have been paralyzed longer. But do y'all know what the number eight means? The number eight is a number of new beginning. Listen, when Jesus makes a difference in your life, everybody else may hold your past against you. Everybody else may still focus on your faults, your failures, and your flaws. But when Jesus makes a difference in your life, he gives you a new beginning. Praise God today. Paul says it this way. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Anybody get a day? Know that you are a new creature. All things are passed away. All things are passed away. And all things become brand new. Y'all, y'all, y'all please forgive me. I, I'm just, I'm just excited. 
because I understand that if he gives a new beginning to me, he can give a new beginning to you. The only reason I'm here today, the only reason I'm able to stand here at First Baptist and declare unto you the unsearchable riches of God's word, not because I've been better than somebody else, not because I've done some things that somebody else has not done. It's all because of one reason he's given given me a new beginning and he will give you a new beginning he'll give you a new beginning okay the first the first thing we see in God's word the first thing that we see in God's word um my brothers and sisters is the person that needed to be made whole the second thing you will see in God's word is not only um the man that needed to be made whole but in verse number 32, notice what the word of God says. And Peter said unto him in verse number 34, Jesus maketh thee whole. Arise, make thy bed. Notice what happened. He arose immediately. The second thing that I want to show you today in God's word is the proof that cannot be negated that he was made whole. The proof that cannot be negated that he was made whole. This is the same man that we see in verse number 32 and in verse number 33. But notice that when we see him the first time, he is down. But by the time we see him in verse number 33, notice he's up. Isn't it amazing that one of the reasons we know that Jesus can make a difference in our lives is because Jesus does not leave you the same way that he found you. If you were down, in fact, in fact, let, let me tr let me let me say it a better way. Not if you were down. But when you were down, I, I want y'all to know he picked you up. Oh, no, it wasn't your mama. It wasn't your daddy. It wasn't your sister. It wasn't your brother. He picked you up. Okay, let me tell you what the hymn writer says. The hymn writer says, I was sinking deep in sin. I was far from the peaceful shore. I was very deeply stained within. I was sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry. From the waters he lifted me. Now safe am I. Love. Isn't it good news today to know that since Jesus has made a difference in your life, you're not in the same shape you were in. Ooh, isn't it good news to know that since you met Jesus and Jesus has made a difference in your life, you are not in the same state that you're in. You're not in the same shape and you're not in the same state. Bless his name. The man, the man is down. The man is down. And, 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 and notice what happened. Notice what happened. It didn't take a week. It didn't take a month. It didn't take a year. But the Bible says, immediately. He, there's the proof. There's the proof. You're talking about somebody that was laying down. And then watch this, watch this. Because Jesus is the only one that can make a difference in your life, all Peter did, notice, Peter didn't take him through any therapy. Peter did not take him through any treatment. All Peter did was talk to him. 
Jesus Christ maketh the whole. Whole means when Jesus comes in your life, you're going to be well. You're going to be healed. But then you're going to be complete. I, I, I understand better now. I understand better. I, I haven't always understood it, but I, but I understand it better now. That, that's why when you, when you connect with other people, um, you, 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 you don't need to connect with people that are not whole. Amen. Because if they are not complete, uh-huh. they can't help you. Amen. And if you're not complete, you can't help them. <clears throat> Only Jesus can heal you. Mm-hmm. Only Jesus can make you well. Yes. Yes. And only Jesus can make you whole. Now, um, I, I don't know about y'all, but um, I love groceries. <laughs> mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you're a four leader. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, I love I love groceries, and um, one one of the things about about me loving groceries is that if if I'm gonna ever eat a steak, if I'm gonna ever eat a steak, um, it has to be cooked the right way. It's got to be it's got to be well done. I don't want to see no pink. I don't, no, 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 no. I don't want to see no red, I, I, nothing but the blood of Jesus. No, 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 no. I, I want to, I want to see it well done. I want to see it well done. And there's something that I want to say to you today is that just like I want to see my state well done, when Jesus makes a difference in your life and he can you're going to be well done and he can do all things well. Listen. He who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it to the end. So, so the proof is there. The proof is there. Um, the person that needed to be made whole. Verse number 33. The proof that could not be negated that he was made whole. Verse 32, four. But then in verse number 35, verse number 35, watch this. Look at it. The people that noticed that he was made whole. The people that noticed he was made whole. The people that noticed he was made whole. I'm I'm, I'm getting ready to close. Um, I tell you what, I tell you what, this I'm going to do this. Uh, brother Minister Music, Brother Minister Music, Brother, c- c- y'all come in, y'all just come in. I'm gonna need y'all real quick. And 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 um, where where's my rock star at? Um, okay, 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 okay. No, 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 don't you, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Don't y'all give him the music yet, like, like, come on, no, 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 no. Y- y'all ain't gonna get paid for this now. Y'all just stay right there. Y'all just, yeah, y- 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 y'all just, y'all won't get paid for this. Come on, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, sister. Come on, sister. Lori, you don't want to be up here with us? Come on, Lori. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, no, no. Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Notice this. Come here, brother. Now, I need you to do me a favor, okay? Now, they're not going to put you out of First Baptist. <laughs> if, if they put you out, if they put you out, you can come be an honorary member, Chester Grove. <laughs> now you got to get your ties now. Okay, now what I want you to do. 
you can do. Let's just go lay down. Okay, just go lay down on the pew. Okay, okay yeah, come on. Now you watch, watch your step now because we ain't got no insurance. Yeah, 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 you okay. <laughs> watch this. Peter, go Peter. Stay, 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 stay right there, Peter. Peter. You stay right there. You stay right there. Stay right there. All right. Listen. Verse number 35, Brother Steve. There is some people in that city that remembered when the man was down. Amen. Sister Lori, <laughs> there are some people that remembered before you married Steve. <laughs> Peter, there, there are some people that remembered when you cut that man ear off. There are some people that remembered what you used to be and how you used to be. In fact, just go home. Just go home. They, they got a way of reminding you of what you used to do. Anybody? 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 There, there were some people that there, there were some people, Mr. Jones, that that, that remembered that, that man, man right there that's me and you they, they remember they remember when we were down and, and let me tell you the sad part about it not only do they remember when we were down but they never expected us to get up they never expected you to get up they, they never expected that on the second Sunday in July you would be singing in the praise team with blue on All right. <laughs> But Peter is the instrument that God uses. And Peter tells him, Peter, Peter tell him. He gets up. He gets up. It, 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 it ain't over. It ain't, it ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't over. All these people were watching. Everybody in First Baptist was watching. Go, go and lay back down one more, time. One, one more time. Just one more time. Now, this is not um, Best Western. This is First Baptist England. Okay. <laughs> He's down. But the Lord uses Peter to speak a word in his life. That's the reason why you need to come to First Baptist every Sunday so that Pastor Scott can keep speaking a word in your life so that you will get up. Peter, Peter speak to him again because Peter, what they don't understand is that when, whenever the Lord empowers you, whenever the Lord equips you, um, your word gives life to dead situations. Man, speak to him again. He gets up. But watch this. I'm closing. There are some people in First Baptist, there are some people that were on the praise team. And they were just sitting there he ain't going to get up. He been sick eight years. One, two, three, four. I can count four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's still there. Y'all think he's going to get up? But let me show you what God does. When you are down emotionally, when you are down, especially spiritually, when you are down um, financially, socially, 
And there's some people that don't think you can get up. I want you to understand there are some people that are watching you and look at what happened. The people that noticed that he had been made whole. If you look at verse number 35, the Bible says as a result of him getting up, as a result of everybody in First Baptist getting up, as a result of everybody in Chester Grove getting up, as a result of everybody in Bowdoin Green getting up, guess what? They turned to the Lord. That's a good place to praise God today. They turned to the Lord. So listen to this. There are some things, 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 are some things, are some things that you will go through. And when you go through, man, it seems like that stuff takes you all the way down. Anybody ever been there? You've gone through, I'm talking about really, really gone through. And it seemed like that very thing taking you down. But let me tell you, God got a way of letting you go through what you go through so it ain't got to be everybody. But if just one person turned to the Lord, it has been worth it all. <laughs> Y'all, okay, 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 okay. If, if, only, if only one person, if only one person's life is changed, it's been worth it what you've gone through. If only one person's life is made the difference and made the better, it's been worth it all. And can anybody testify that when you have been down and the Lord picks you up? Watch this. You can testify you're stronger, you're wiser, and you're better. Can I leave you with this? I'm, I'm closing. I'm, I'm closing. You're telling me I can close every time? <laughs> I just got here. We love it. Okay. I just got here. <laughs> I want you to know today the same thing that he did in your life. The, the power. Is not in Peter. No, no. The prescription is not in Peter. The panacea is not in Peter. But notice who Peter says made you whole. Jesus Christ has made thee whole. I, I, I want you to understand the same thing he did for this man. Eight years, you can also have a new beginning. It is no secret. What God can do. It's no secret. What he's done for others. He'll do it. He'll do it. For you. With his arms wide open. He'll pardon you. And listen. Because Jesus. Already knows. Is something wrong with you. Because Jesus already knows there's something wrong with me. When I come to him, when you come to him, you don't have to have it all together. Because when he really comes into your life, you will get it together. 
you'll talk right. You'll walk right. You'll live right. And you'll give right. Amen. We've seen today in God's word. The person that needed to be made whole. Are you that person? Now, what I like so much about the Lord is, is, is notice for all of my educators, the, the suffix at the end, E-T-H. That means that being made whole is not a one-time deal. We're always going through the process of being made, because we're, we're never perfect down here. But he's making us into the people that he wants us to be. Amen. The person that needs to be made whole. The proof that could not be negated that he was made whole. Watch this. Watch this. Notice that when my brother got up, notice when the man in the text got up, he didn't go down to Wachula State Bank and say, look at me, I got up. All he did was get up. No, notice, he didn't Twitter nobody, he didn't Instagram nobody. <laughs> He didn't Snapchat nobody. <laughs> he didn't Facebook nobody. All he did was get up. When you really have gotten up, no, no. When Jesus Christ has really made a difference in your life, you ain't got to tell nobody. It's like that game in school, show and tell. No, it's a show. Question is, the question is, can it show? No. Does it show in your life that Jesus made a difference? Listen, you may not know them. I may not know them. And listen, there are some things God knows. There are some things that I've gone through and there are some things that you've gone through. Dear child of God, don't take them for granted because the Lord may use that as a vehicle. The Lord may use that as an opportunity for somebody to turn to the Lord. The Lord may be using what you are, do y'all know the Lord um, doesn't, the storms you go through, they really matter to God. The sickness that you go through, it really matters to God. The situation you're going through right now, because the Lord can use those things to turn somebody to him. And Jesus declares, if I be lifted up, I draw. All men unto me. How many of y'all thank God today on the second Sunday that he picked you up? Amen. And you're not in the shape that you were in.